Good evening, you know this are okay. My name is Kevin Chong, and I'm seeking to become your 2012-2013 UNLV Circle K Club President. A brief history about me is I used to be the 2010-2011 Vice President of Service, and currently I'm the 2011 and 2012 External Fundraising Chair. Uh, currently, over the three years I've been with Circle K, I have accomplished about almost a thousand hours since. Um, some of uh, some of the reasons why I believe that I would love to become your next club president is that I believe I have a strong, really strong passion for service. I'm very service oriented. And one of the best feelings that I got out from this club is that moment when you're helping someone and they give a smile back and give you that warm feeling inside. That is one of the greatest moments that, in my opinion, a person can have. Um, so I'm going to skip next to my goals. Um, I believe that, first of all, uh, we should have better communication and uh, actually more involvement with our new sponsors, Great Valley. Um, they have done so much for us throughout uh, this year alone, and I believe that if we do more service projects and socials with them, uh, that we all can create a bond with the people who makes us Circle K and sponsors us. And with that, I also want to implement uh, UNLV Circle K to sponsor uh, Terrific Kids or Bucks program. For, the, for, you, for those of you who don't know that, it's a basically a program for elementary schoolers to better themselves by um, raising up their grades or better behavior or just anything in general to help better themselves. And they'll set a goal for themselves to uh, for the end of the grading period. And at that grading period, we'll award them with uh, pins and a pizza party. So I believe that would be pretty awesome. Uh, next, I would like to continue the current board's family system. It was a great idea to have uh, five different families. Um, however, I believe that we needed to uh, advertise them more and have a little more socials and competition with that. Um, so it you know creates stronger bonds. The fact that I like the idea of the family system is that veteran members can actually teach the newer members the ins and outs of Circle K. Uh, and finally, I would like to see our next term have 75% bronze MRP total. I do not have a specific preference of members next year because I would love to welcome anyone and everyone who has the passion just to help others. And in, include, in conclusion, I would like to end my speech in a quote that from Mohammed Gandhi that I've been going through for the last three years. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself the service of others. Now I'd like to do Q&A. Um, hi Kevin. Um, so you were on board last, or two years ago as VPS. Can you give an example of how you were man you were able to manage conflict within the e-board as well as the members? Um, to manage conflict is really, you need to communicate with one another with your e-board uh, just to know what exactly started the conflict. And together with your e-board, um, you can, you know, hopefully resolve the conflict by talking it out with one another and hopefully the members as well. And possibly <coughs> if it's too much, maybe ask uh, Derek to step in, see what his advice is, and hopefully uh, uh, have a great solution after. Um, what is the Green Valley Kiwanis Officer or Um. I know, uh, I do not have his full name, I'm sorry, but I know the president is Mitchell. Um, he's one well, great man, so I'm sorry I don't know his last name currently. Yeah. Um, can you name um, one thing that you that the club needs to improve on and how you could do so, or how you could go about doing it? Um, I believe that the club can better uh, improve on um, just communicating with members. I know there's sometimes uh, email, people don't check their emails nowadays, to be honest. So I believe, you know, possibly using text messages, because all of us, or majority of us, have cell phones, could possibly get the message uh, laid on that. Because we had a constant problem of members not knowing where a carpool is, or, you know, not knowing, oh, there's an event that day. So I believe if we can try to find uh, alternative ways, Emails, emailing is good, but I believe there's a lot more that we can do. So. Nathan? Uh, what do you believe would be your biggest challenge, and how would you overcome it? 
I believe my biggest challenge would, would just be uh, um, being organized with Circle K in school. Being club president, I will admit, and seeing all the presidents is not an easy task. It involves a lot of time, effort, and it takes out a lot for me. So I believe just managing that and knowing that weakness of uh, you know that uh, having club president and school together and addressing that and you know properly manage your time will help overcome the obstacle. So. I have a hypothetical situational question. Okay. A member of this club posts an offensive video combining improper language or music. And our sponsor, if you want to feel this video at a meeting and sees this, please. How do you deal with the situation? Is the video being shown like at the meeting? Yes. At the meeting? Well, obviously, the video has already been shown, as you said, right? In the yes. situation. Um, obviously, the Quanians were there, and you know we can't do nothing. They're racing the video, and first of all, we'll just have. I would apologize to the Quanians for having that, and we'll. You know, try to do my best with the e-board to make sure that none of those offensive videos will ever be shown in uh, club meetings again. So, um, can you describe to us like uh, your approach to time management? Uh, time management is uh, basically you've got to approach it by, uh, I believe, you know, you have to have a planner and have, like have that and you know plan everything like at the minimum a month ahead. Honestly, I, because uh, it'll help you embrace like some of the um, events that you're gonna go to. But it's also good to have that because you might have unexpected issues that come up. And so you know, knowing if you have time to uh, deal with that situation with a planner, be good. Mike. All right. So as president, you would be the face of the club. So uh, how would you plan on representing at events, considering you do not have any? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, first of all, I am currently working on that car, um, but if I don't have a car when my terms start, I've talked to my brothers and my parents and they said that will try to support me in dropping me off in as much events as possible, and if my family can't do it, I would hope that um, I'll try to find a way of either bus or asking a friend around the southwest area to help pick me up and try to attend as much events as possible. Are you able to attend international events? Uh, I am working on that right now. I am saving up some money because I would like to represent Serenade in Service Fair 2012. Jackie. Um, as you mentioned in time management, you didn't actually mention anything about preventing burnout on yourself. What are your plans? Um, as I've seen, like, preventing burnouts, it will occasionally will happen. I've seen it throughout every year. And when burnout occurs, um, 